Hey, it's Richard Olsmuller, and we are doing another cheese unboxing. And this time it is from Cheese of the Month Club. And I wish I could tell you which Cheese of the Month Club. Oh, it's the, <laughs> the Gourmet Cheese of the Month Club. All right, so... Um, you know, and like I just showed you that the box says that I need to open it immediately and I'm not really good at following directions. Um, it's been sitting in my refrigerator for the past month and I'm not really sure what to expect with this uh, little box of cheese. So join me in here and uh, we will be both surprised in the contents of this box sitting in my refrigerator for the past month, even though it says open immediately. So, all right, um, and again, I have no idea what cheeses that I ordered, um, because it was months ago. But there we go, all right. Gourmet Cheese of the Month Club, congratulations. Welcome to, oh, I bought rare cheeses. So, okay, that's, makes sense. All right, yep, yeah, that goes over there, and then uh, this goes like this, and oh my god, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I'm like, this stuff's still cold! Yeah, because it's been in my refrigerator for the past month. <laughs> all right, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, all right, hey, there we go. There's a bag of uh, cheeses, great, it looks like we got... Three cheeses, and unless they've got some other stuff hidden in there, all right. So yeah, when I was freaked out about, I thought like you know maybe some of this stuff would be like decomposed on me or whatever, you know. Um, and um, nothing, nothing saturated in water or uh, or anything like that. Like all of the uh, packaging looks like great still. So um, yeah, that was the first thing I was freaked out about. I'm like. Yeah, all right, so it's good. Everything looks good. Like, even though I failed at opening it immediately, the product still looks fantastic. Like, there's there's nothing weird going on here. Um, yeah, so cool. Let's dig in. And uh, so learning from my past mistakes, I got everything set up for me over here already. And there we go, cheese knife. What, what kind of drew me into this was that this stuff is wrapped in paper. I remember as a child in New Jersey going to the uh, the deli and getting slices of cheese over there. And then this is what they would do. They would wrap your what you bought in the paper like this. And so that's what really attracted me to the school made cheese of the month over there. It's just like I haven't had this in 35 years. And so... This is really freaking cool. So this is Roth's Private Reserve, and I don't know what it, what it, the Private Reserve is. So let's see if, uh, okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna peel the sticker off, that doesn't work, okay. I'm gonna try cutting it. All right, yeah, that's, that's working, that's working, that's working. It's a hard cheese, whatever it is. Oh, this looks really cool. Oh man, I am open that up like that. Oh man, this is a very good looking cheese. This is, yeah, this is like a Parmesan. And I'm pretty sure this is a Parmesan. And like, oh, again with the brine, I love these, like, these cheeses, these, like, you know, the authentic cheeses. With the rind, oh my god, this is on a big cheese wheel and they cut a piece off for you. It's oh, so beautiful. And, um, very, very nice. Roth, okay, so what are they saying? Ross Private Reserve, okay, you're still not really telling me what I want. But again, it smells like a Parmesan.
I can taste the paper a little bit on that. Which kind of makes sense. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try a little bit more. Um, yep. Definitely think we got a Parmesan here. Could use this the other night. I mean, I was making a Boston dish, didn't have any. I think I used Gouda instead. Anyway, yeah, I don't know, it's alright. I'm not, clearly not raving about it. Whatever, alright, so this got a little bit of wear through on the uh, paper. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like the last one, which would be weird, but. Let's see, this is uh, San Simone. Again, I don't know what the DOP stands for. Let's check it out. All right, yeah, that is wet paper. Oh man, and the coolest thing about these cheeses is that rind. Oh no, I got mold on it. I don't think this is supposed to be moldy. No, it's not supposed to be moldy. Oh man, dang it. All right, so. Definitely, uh, maybe don't do what I did and let it sit there for a month. Yes, my cheese has uh, become moldy a little bit, uh, which is, you know, I don't know, whatever. You can still cut the cheese off. So the rind's a little bit, I mean, the rind's still freaking cool, even though it's moldy. And so I'm not too freaked out by this yet. And I kind of just want to like cut away the mold because like the whole thing isn't bad. It's just a little bit on the outside that's bad. And the inside is freaking fine. So I think that's what I'm going to do over here is just cut away the mold and get to the good cheese. And then we can safely try this. Throw that in the bin, and uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna get, um, I got everything but my towel on this. I don't want any mold on this. I'm a little bit freaky like that. Hang on a second, don't go anywhere. Get in my kitchen towel, get, observe the beautiful cheese. All right, I'm back. Thank you for waiting patiently for me. All right, clean the knife off over here. It's the one to eat any mold, you know what I mean? And here we go, we're gonna cut in a little piece like this, like that, and it smells like paper. Yep, wow, oh man. That's an excellent buttery, hmm, yeah. Yep, it's freaking fine. <laughs> I was laughing at myself for eating moldy cheese. <laughs> That's great. That's fine. Like I said, I'm just going to cut away the rest of the mold. This thing is still fine. This cheese is not going to waste. That cheese is delicious. Um, it is, yeah, origin of Spain. Oh, it's from Spain. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Just looks awesome. I mean, the mold doesn't look awesome, but like the good thing about that is that it's a, you know, it's real food, you know, I mean like stuff that just got preservatives in it, like stuff never gets moldy never goes bad you know so like this like makes me feel so comfort that like you know mold is growing on it it's it's alive and so i mean uh yeah it's fine like it's real it's natural so i'm not freaked out about it it's cool so we'll just put that on the side like that get rid of the wax paper i'm not gonna reuse that i got some plastic wrap i'm gonna do that with it okay and the third one over here like I said, it's a surprise. Like, what the heck we got going on up here? This cheese is a little bit softer. Oh, no. The paper's wet a little bit. 
So is this one gonna be moldy too? Um, hmm. Um, probably, yeah, because it says Point Reyes original blue. Uh, blue cheeses are usually moldy. Well, you know what I mean. So let's see what we got going on over here. Open, open, open. Okay, yep, oh, oh, no, 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 this is not freaky moldy. This is normal, natural moldy. We can see that right now. That's how it should be. That's the molding I'm expecting, it's a blue cheese. So yeah, no. Nope, nothing weird here. This is standard blue cheese molding on that. So, yeah, we're okay. Wipe my knife off again. And uh, we'll cut out a little piece of this. Ooh, nice soft cheese. And then, uh, yeah, here we go. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's salty, it's creamy, and again with that, um, the moldy, you know, the blue cheese character, it's uh, a little bit sharp too. Um, yeah, there's some, uh, you know, some sandwiches uh, that you can do where you just kind of want that sharpness in the cheese, and, and this will give you that nice flavor balance in there. And right, yeah, so it's got its place, and this will work well for that. And I'm very happy that the cheese is not ruined. And um, yeah, well, so anyway, here we go. I just had three cheeses over there, and lesson learned don't let it sit there for a month. But even if you do, it's still not going to be that bad. You can, um, you're not going to get the most out of what you bought, but um, it's still not going to be a loss. So, uh, good job, gourmet cheese of the month club and uh, thank you for these three cheeses and i mean like not that you give them for free i bought these so uh whatever still it's cool that you guys are doing what you're doing and uh, i'm having fun all right thanks for joining me see you next time